Hey entrepreneur, this is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. Welcome to this special presentation entitled Three Extremely Critical Business Lessons. The Caterpillar to Butterfly Evolution can and should teach you and I about selling. Ladies and gentlemen, so you stop missing a ton of future potential money making opportunities. Entrepreneur, the purpose of this video is to expose you to the three basic stages that a caterpillar pillar, pardon me, basically goes through before they actually become a butterfly and how this entire caterpillar to butterfly process, if you will, is a whole lot like building a, a very successful business. Take a look at this. We're going to look at how the three stages of a caterpillar's growth is a lot like growing your business. Now, ladies and gentlemen, full disclosure, I originally heard this powerful concept from this gentleman right here, Joe Gracia. And you can go check Joe out. I highly recommend him. I'm one of his students. He's got some excellent information on marketing. Just head over to give to get marketing.com and get this guy a look. He's excellent. Now, Joe basically explained it like this. He says you take a caterpillar and the caterpillar goes from caterpillar to cocoon and from cocoon to butterfly. Now think about that process and think about how it happens. It doesn't happen overnight, does it? Now, take a look at this. We're going to show you now how you go from complete strangers to eventually converting them into paying customers in three simple steps. But that doesn't mean it's three things. It's three completely different steps. But each step has a process, you know, sub-steps, if you will, that you go through. Here's the first phase. A complete stranger gets introduced to your business product or service. It might be web television, radio, uh, offline, I mean, excuse me, online, your website, your blog, whatever. Let's say somebody comes to your website or blog for the first time. And they look around, they click on a few of your categories, and maybe they read a, a, video, a, video, uh, a blog post or two, and they even click on a few videos. But they leave. Ladies and gentlemen, at that point, they're still a stranger. They're not a prospect, and they're certainly not a customer. So they're in the stranger uh, category. Now, phase two. Let's suppose that stranger joins your list and offline let's suppose you have a retail store in a mall somebody walks into your store and they've never been here before and they're looking around but in the middle of your store is a giant display saying enter this free drawing because each week uh, you're going to be giving away let's say it's a women's boutique shop you're going to be giving away one of your best selling 16 ounce bottles of perfume now they don't buy anything but they're intrigued by that chance to enter your free drawing they have officially become a prospect so they're not in the stranger category anymore. Now they're not a customer, but they are officially a legitimate prospect. And by the same token, when that person opts into your list, they're a prospect. Now, of course, here comes phase three. At some point, that prospect, who was originally a stranger, or what some people call a suspect, they're now that all-important first-time customer and or client. And of course, when they become a paid customer or client, that's when you can load up on the, the multipliers because then at that point, it's a lot easier for them to refer. It's a lot easier for them to, uh, you know, repurchase, become repeat purchasers or uh, repeat clients. It's, it's uh, a whole lot more likely that they're going to jump all over social media and praise you high and low. So that's, you know, and that's where that lifetime value of a customer whole concept comes in. But what I want you to focus on in this brief video is the process of going from stranger to prospect to first time customer or client. Because here's where most small businesses make a huge mistake. And Joe Gracia talks about this. I talk about it. And all the top marketers and men and women in business who maybe they don't write about it, but they apply this. Here's where most small businesses make a huge mistake. They try to use mediums like newspaper, banner ads, radio, and television to convert complete strangers to first-time customers or clients. The one-step process. 
and it's it's almost it's difficult if not impossible that's why ladies and gentlemen if you ever notice when people do direct mail they have a tendency to get anywhere from one percent or less and they're always disappointed because they're mailing to complete strangers who a may not know anything about you b did not ask for your product or service and c probably aren't interested in it which in case in, in, in which in reality meant you shouldn't have mailed to them but again, it's that trying to go from stranger, you're trying to go from step one to phase three. Or as you always hear, uh, Seth Godin was a guy I recently heard say this, but a lot of people have used the analogy. You're going from meeting somebody on a first date and trying to jump to a marriage by the end of the date, a marriage proposal. And you're wondering why this person doesn't want to marry you after getting to know you for 45 minutes on a first date. You, now, when you hear that consciously, you say, oh, that's ridiculous. My friend, it's no more ridiculous than trying to use a newspaper to go from complete stranger to number three, paying first-time customer or client. There's a process. Just like that caterpillar doesn't go to sleep as a caterpillar and the next day wake up a butterfly, strangers don't go from strangers to customers just like that. There is a process. And if you don't follow this sequence, you're losing money. So anyway, on that note, and I hope you can see how this process of caterpillar to butterfly is very analogous to what you and I are doing in business. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to discover how you can add an additional 25% more gross profit to your bottom line, an entrepreneur, if you're serious about doing it in the next 90 days or less without having to add any new customers or clients like your competitors, then do yourself a favor. Grab that free nine page special report. And if you head over to you can market online now dot com forward slash sales, that's where you can get it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we go, quick question. Who else do you know in business who's struggling right now who could definitely use some help? Do they respect your opinion? Because if they do, I want you to forward this video to them ASAP and help them out. They'll thank you for it later. On the other hand, if you're wondering what you need to do as a serious entrepreneur, to grow your business product or excuse me to grow your business no matter how you primarily market on or offline in the next 90 days or less and you want to add 25 percent more gross profit to your business or to your bottom line as you do so and my friend i highly recommend you grab your free 22 part small business marketing mastery series because this is an additional three 22 sequential email marketing lessons you're going to receive on top of the free nine page special report that's correct it's my free gift to you it's my way of saying thank you and welcome to the inner circle but ladies and gentlemen if for whatever reason you are not satisfied and or you just don't feel the small the small business marketing mastery series is for you then please feel free to unsubscribe anytime you wish for whatever reason you want and we can still be friends this is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. We'll see you again next time on the Marketing Minute.